In this next lesson, we will touch upon the details panel. Now the details panel varies depending on what type of object you have selected, but we're gonna just take a quick look at it just to get you a little bit familiar with it. So for example, I have a cube. I click the cube and when I have an object selected either in my outliner or in my viewport, there will be a number of details that pop up for that particular object. Now you can take a look at some of these details and then manipulate them for, to, to a certain effect. So for example, we have location, rotation, we have scale. If I wanted to change the scale from within, within this details pa panel, I could do that. I can just basically do all sorts of modifications and manipulations to an object that I have selected. Uh, if, for example, I want to change the material of this object, I could do so under the materials panel. So right now it is a cube. <clears throat> I could change it to something else. Basically, you can start manipulating pretty much everything from within the details panel. Simulate physics, that's a fun one, but we'll talk more about that in a little while. Uh, I think it's probably, for the most part, enough to know that this panel exists, and this is basically where we do all of our object modifications and manipulations. Uh, the collision option right down here basically determines uh, what sorts of other objects that a certain object can move through. That's a little bit out of context for the moment. This is the details panel. This is where so much happens. And like I say, depending on what type of object you have selected, there will be a bunch of different options available here. There are a lot of things that you will probably never touch, but whatever you need, it's all down here. Um, there are also different categories that you can toggle between just because there is often so much to go through. Right now I have all selected, but if you just wanted to look at certain components of uh, the details of an object, for example, the physics of it, you could just click the physics part and then you don't have to scroll through nearly as much and try to find something. On the topic of trying to find something, it's pretty handy to know. For example, let's say I have everything selected here and I'm looking for the physics part, I can just start typing physics and then it will bring up everything which matches the, uh, the word physics or P-H-Y in this case and uh, bring up the things which are, are related to that particular query. So if you're looking for something in particular, maybe the collisions of an object, you can type in C-O-L-L -L, collisions and you can see all the different collision options that you might want to manipulate. I think that that will probably be good. Uh, this is uh, this can be an overwhelming section with so much data, but don't worry about it too much because for the most part, you'll only be using very specific parts of this in, a, in specific ways where needed. Um, there's lots of cool things you can do here, but uh, you don't need to memorize anything by any stretch of the imagination. So don't worry about that. Just be familiar that the details panel is where we manipulate objects. Okay, let's jump on to the next lesson. This lesson is from my Unreal Engine Beginners course. You can get access to the entire course on my Patreon page. All of my Patreons get full access to all of my courses. And I will be adding more courses and tutorials over time. Links in the description. Thank you for all the support.